Okay guys, so welcome to my updated room tour. I am so excited to show you guys. It has been so awaited, so let's just get right into it. We're gonna start at the door because everything in this room pretty much is being used for storage or has some sort of purpose, so we're gonna start here. So this is where I keep all of my vinyl rolls. I feel like this just saves up so much space on shelves. Having it this way because it's over the door, it's not in the way. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad or cluttered or anything. Um, I'll back up so you can see. It really is not like terrible. Um, granted, I did like kind of line them up before this video so that it looked a little more organized but if you keep them pretty straight it really shouldn't look that bad. I got this organizer from Amazon and throughout this video I'm going to say a lot of things are from Amazon and you can find them in the description of this video and then I kind of separate them by permanent vinyl up here and then HTV down there. So that's right here and then moving on right here I have this like little dry erase calendar and then my sales map down here and then I usually fill out the numbers but June just started so I haven't really had time. I do have like an order goal. My second business Puppy Lux just launched and my order goal for this month is 20. Um, I honestly think I could hit it if I really, really, you know, work hard and promote it and everything. So we'll see how that goes. Moving on from the calendar, I've got a mirror here and then closet is going to be off limits just because it's a freaking mess in there. That is all being used for storage and it's like horrible. I have not organized this since the last office tour. So we're just going to not go in there. So now on to my packaging station. A lot has changed since the last time. So I will kind of start here. I now have a cart dedicated for packaging stuff. I have a lot of packaging stuff, um, maybe more than I need, but it's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I also have way more now because Puppy Lux has completely different packaging. So that's just a whole separate business. Um, and I had to, of course, get its own dedicated packaging for that. This is all like kind of backup stuff. The most important stuff is up here. Down here is just like individual boxes or like extra boxes to cut in half for individual clips. So if someone orders one clip, I will make like a half box just so I don't have to send like a whole box if that makes sense. Um, and I just, you know, cut it in half and tape it. Extra poly mailers down here. Um, let's see, extra white bags, I guess. Just like things that I don't really use that often. Here I've got my honeycomb wrapping paper. These are uh, six by nine poly mailers. I don't use these too often. That's why they're down here. But if someone orders like one scrunchie, um, I will put it in this bag. I've got some extra poly mailers here. These are all 10 by 13, by the way. These ones are here. These poly mailers are my branded packaging. Um, I just have a lot right now, so I don't really need them up there. And then these are from Poly Lush. I use these, I've been using these the most right now because they are just so stinking cute. These two are definitely my favorite. So make sure to check out Poly Lush if you're a small business and you want like super cute packaging. Then moving up to the top right here, I've got some padded envelopes. I honestly don't use these too often, but they look super cute in video, so that's why I keep them here. These are my big poly mailers. These are 14 and a half by 19. Behind this, these are 12. Yeah, I think they're like 12 and a half by 15, something like that. These are a little bit smaller, so they're kind of in between the 10 by 13 and the 14 and a half by 19. And here, these are my biodegradable garment bags. So I use these to package up sweaters, clothing, things like that. And these are from Amazon, as well as this utility cart and and these rigid mailers. So these mailers are for like stickers when I send out only sticker orders. That's what I've got on my cart. Now we're gonna roll this in. And over here, I've got my water activated tape. This custom tape is from Sticker Mule. It's only $20 if you use the link in the description because I have a $10 credit for first time users. So I would definitely take advantage of that deal. It's super affordable, especially if you're just starting a business. That $10 credit also works on anything on Sticker Mule as long as you spend I believe it's $30 you have to spend to use that $10 credit, so make sure to check that out. The dispenser is from Amazon, and I would definitely recommend it, because if not, you're going to have to be cutting them and like applying water with a sponge. So with this dispenser, you just fill this up with water, and that's what I keep right here. It's empty right now. I usually keep some water in here to keep refilling this. I used to have this tape on this cart, and it was really like a nightmare. It kept moving and stuff, so it is so nice to just have it on here. So over here, I've got my branded tissue paper that I make myself. I've got the Puppy Lux tissue paper and then my Noelle Creates tissue paper. So that just stays up here. When I use one, I pull it out. Super easy, convenient. Here I've got all the bubble wrap for cups and things like that. And then I usually have a couple of these already pre-cut, but I only have one left, so I'll have to redo that. I just found these fragile stickers the other day that came with my craft paper. So I want to start using these just because I have them and see if they actually make a difference or anything like that. Up here, I've got my Puppy Lux poly mailers. These are the seven and a half by 10 size and these are from sticker meal as well the same place where I get my custom tape 
So if you want custom poly mailers, you can get them on Sticker Mule as well and use that $10 credit. I got some scrunchie bags right here. And then up here is where I keep my tagging gun and the refills and then also my custom tags. So the care instructions, I keep them right next to that. This tagging gun is from Amazon. It's super easy to use. And then up here, I've got the bigger size poly mailers. They're exactly the same. These are just 10 by 13. And then I've got my Noelle Creates 10 by 13 poly mailers. I'm keeping some pre-packaged sticker packs for Puppy Lux because it's just super easy to have already made um and that's why i've got a couple right here and then right underneath i've got my noelle creates sticker packaging right now at the moment but once i run out of these i'm gonna do the same thing as these because i really love the clear look these bags are super cute i just really like the clear look but these are from polylush if you guys are interested the same place as where those mailers are from okay so moving on right underneath i've got all of my care card instructions these little business card holders are from amazon i keep some of my logo stickers these are from hub city graphics and then then I made just a couple tags for Puppy Lux in case someone orders a sweatshirt. I wanted to have that. So I keep those right here. Right underneath that, I keep my thank you cards. These are for Noelle Creates. And I have two different ones because I'm testing these out, but I don't think I really like them. So that's why those are here. But yeah, once these run out, I probably won't be getting more of that. And then right next to it, I have my Puppy Lux thank you cards. And um, same thing, I don't really love them. Um, so once these are done, I will probably just be making my own like I always do. And then right underneath, I keep all of my like thank you stickers and all of the um, sizing stickers right here for like bandanas and things like that and that's pretty much it for this part of the packaging I do keep some things underneath right here so I keep my craft paper here and then my big gigantic box of crinkle paper that I got off Amazon this box is literally like 10 pounds just of crinkle paper so now probably the biggest change that I made for my office is this corner table these are two separate desks and if you guys remember I used to have a gray desk right here and then I switched and got a new desk, which was one of these white desks. I loved it so much. It had so much space, such good quality. So I wanted to get another one to originally put right here so they would be opposite to each other. So I just had like a packaging station. But with these two huge desks, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the room is not that big. It's really not that much space. If you see like in between here, that's probably just a good like six feet of space right here. So it's really not that much room. So having these two white desks parallel to each other and the way that the room was set up before, all of these shelves were over here. It was so awkward to have these two huge desks parallel to each other. So I thought, you know, this would probably only work if we put it in a corner. It works so much better. There's so much room. It looks so much nicer having a corner desk set up like this. So if you wanna have this same setup, these are two separate desks. These are from Amazon and I will have them linked in the description as well these desks are fantastic they are such good quality just to let you guys know these things are heavy like i had i set up one by myself the first time and i couldn't lift it up by myself i needed help um so anyways i've got one whole desk right here so it starts there ends there that's my trash can at the moment i don't know if you guys can see i like using just boxes as trash cans i don't need a fancy trash can when literally it's going to be all trash so that's what i'm using as my trash can this corner to this end is another desk so if you can see, the bottoms kind of clash a little bit, but there's so much space for storage, so it's not even that big of a deal. Like, I could put something in that corner right there. I have so much space right here. This was what I'm so excited about. I love it so much. So I had another decal made for Puppy Lux, and these two are from Sticker Mule again. I love Sticker Mule. I get everything custom made from there pretty much. So of course I had to put my second business logo next to my first business logo. I think it only made sense. My printer is kind of an issue just because like having to put the paper in the tray over there is very far. I'm telling you, these things are very wide. It might not look like it on camera. So I pull this out whenever I use it. I pull it out right here, the cord reaches and everything. So it's not too big of an inconvenience. I think it's okay. It's not like the end of the world. That's the only difference now is like that thing's gotta be in the corner because obviously my chair has to go here and my computer has to be in front of that. So my silhouette, of course, right next to the computer with all this beautiful workspace. I love it so much. Up here, I've got all these little tray thingies. Here in this first one, I keep all of my labels and they feed through the back right here and they go in. Right here is all of my silhouette tools. So it's super handy. It's nice to have right here. Right here, I keep some other tools and like rubbing alcohol. Here are now like extra pens and scissors that I don't really need. I've got my order counter, of course, my thermal label printer. And then over here, I've got my computer. I got this new riser. So now 
now I have so much more space. I could put this and this underneath and use this as a workspace if I wanted to. I really love this desk pad. It's from Amazon. I've had it since I first started my business and it's awesome. I really love it. This was probably another big change. I was kind of debating getting one because of this exact issue. This thing is so much more taller now. So it adds a lot of height and I wasn't really loving it at first, but now I'm kind of getting used to it. So I just decided to keep it, but that's something to consider if you're wanting to get a desk riser. But I will say this thing is so nice and convenient to have. I keep like all of my pens here, my tools and everything like that. It's super, super nice quality. This is from the container store. Right next to it, I keep my mini label printers because I use these all the time. These are both from Amazon. So right here, I have another utility card from Amazon. Down there is just like kind of junk, my tripod. And then right here is like all my tech stuff that I use all the time, like tripods, microphones, batteries, things like that. Super important. Down there I have blanks, but these all just fell from up here right now. So we'll, we'll put that back later. It's fine. This was super convenient also for the move because all of my vinyl scraps, things like that, pre-cuts and everything are right next to the computer and that's super convenient. Right here I keep a uh, paper roll for making cups and then transfer tape my silhouette mats that I'm using at the moment and then up here I've got my little paper cutter love this thing super super awesome and this is from Amazon as well as this thing right here this is a tumbler cradle I believe it's called these are all my milk carton water bottle pre-cuts so I keep those all right here plain white printer paper these are my photo glossy papers that I love so much these are from Amazon and then this is tracing paper that I use to make my custom tissue paper this is also from Amazon this organizer is from like home goods I believe. Up here I keep some of my blanks for our keychains. Here I keep my scale for weighing packages and then my t-shirt folder and these are both from Amazon. This box holds all of my clear bags and I use these to package everything. All of these clear bags are from Amazon as well. They will be linked in the description. There's just a bunch of different sizes and then some backup tape right there. Up here, I keep my biggest size boxes and then I keep my extra bubble mailers right there. Moving on to this second shelf, this is where all the fun starts happening. We'll start down here. I keep all of my blanks right here for cups. So these are all milk carton water bottles. These are my glass cups, my glass milk bottles, and then down there are mugs, but I'm completely out, so I need to restock that. Up here, I didn't really know what to do with this shelf. I just put my some of my um, like ready to ship t-shirts here. Yeah, I, I wanted to originally make this whole section for puppy lux, but um, I don't really have like pre-made sweaters or anything yet so that's why I kind of just put these here but eventually I would like this to just be puppy luck stuff here's where I keep all of my bandanas so these are empty at the moment but eventually I'm going to need some more storage up here this is so fun I just got these new containers from the container store it was my first time going so I like splurged a little bit got these containers because I needed sticker storage I used to have like just like a little tray with like sections of stick stickers and I just didn't like that so I got these and they are perfect so they come with these devices and I will have so much storage like I could probably store two to three different designs in each little container So these are gonna blast me for a good while These are all my Noelle create stickers right here And then these are all of my puppy luck stickers And then I have some keychains that I'm gonna come out with pretty soon This right here is extra dividers for all the containers. I really really love this method of organizing the stickers I think it looks so nice right next to it I got these containers also from the container store and the dividers as well And this is where I'm keeping all of my straws because before I had them in one of these big containers and it was such a waste of space. So I'm glad I found these because they are literally the perfect size for these. Up here is more different size boxes. And then right next to it, I've also got more boxes. So just more box storage up there. All of my clips are right here. And then I also keep my socks right here. These should be next to each other and they're driving me crazy, but I'm gonna fix it. And then all of my keychains are in here. And then right below that, I've got all of my scrunchies. I get so many questions about where I get these containers. I get these from Harbor Freight, which is a hardware store here in California. California. They're so awesome for storing. Look how deep they go. I mean, you can hold a lot in there. Underneath my scrunchies, I usually have this all stocked with cups, but I'm running pretty low on almost all of them. And underneath, I have just like a whole shelf ready for storage. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to put there yet. Before, everything was just so jam-packed, and now I just have so much storage. But yeah, guys, that is the updated office tour. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup. Is it better? Is it worse? What do you guys think? Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow along on my socials like Instagram, TikTok, so you can keep up with Noelle Creates and Puppy Lux. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.